that's really the history of Legends, how it started. It started from inside that gym, uh, creating a method of being able to take real boxing skill and conditioning and apply it to every single person in a class environment, not just on a one-on-one -on -one environment. So. Hi guys, welcome to the very first episode of the Legends Boxing Podcast. I am super excited to be here. And you know, believe it or not, Legends Boxing started all the way back in like 2009, 2010 timeframe. Rob Scott, uh, the founder of Legends Boxing, he actually started with a coach named Damian Bressler. He started at a gym located in Sandy, Utah. It was called Bressler's Boxing. And my first introductory to boxing was that gym. I actually walked in there to go, you know, cheer on my brother because it was his very first fight. And so that was really exciting to be a part of that world to really kind of see, um, you know, really what a what a rough and tough guy kind of boxing gym really is the kind of stuff you kind of see on your Rocky movies and stuff like that. So that was really exciting to see that. Um, and so we fast forward a little bit. And Rob's passion for boxing uh, it, it helped me. I was introduced to boxing by Rob. What he did is he moved Bressler's boxing into a huge 70,000 square foot facility. And it's a sports complex. And at the time it was called the Flash Factory. So for you Utah locals, you're probably familiar with that building. And what he did is he went to these owners and he talked to them and he said, look, you know, let me show you guys a way that we can kind of make this more popular. We can add different kinds of things into this big, huge facility. And one of them was boxing. So he talked to Damien and Damien came over and he started training boxers and like really boxers. Like they were fighters. They were wanting to be in com competition. It was a pretty, pretty cool environment to be a part of. What Rob had done is when that happened, he came and he talked to me. I was working for him at the time for an insurance company called XSI Insurance. And so that's what Rob had actually done is he had brought over Damien, but he had also title sponsored this building from the Flash Factory to now it was called the XSI Factory. And that's what Legends originally started at as the boxing gym. It was called XSI Boxing, which stood for Extreme Sports Insurance. Really, it kind of took off from there. And so what Rob had done to talk to me is he brought me over from selling insurance to becoming what we nowadays call the account manager. And so I was managing accounts, I was selling gym memberships, um, I was focusing on the box and I was doing all the stuff that we do. But something really kind of interesting happened in my life right around that time I was hitting my 30s. And I noticed I had put on a significant amount of weight, which for me has always been kind of a big shocker. When I first moved to Utah in around 2008, 2009, I was about 172 pounds. And Prior to working at XSI Boxing, I was about 240 pounds, which was a huge jump. When I started working there, I went and I talked to Damien and I said, hey, would you mind if I started boxing after work, you know, jump into one of your classes and learn how to do this? And he was all for it, 100%. And I found I had an extreme passion for boxing. So very shortly after that, uh, I was in the ring for my first time. In fact, it was about three weeks later and boxing conditioning and training it had helped me so much that I remember officially weighing for that fight at 213 pounds so I had lost a pretty significant amount of weight in a very short period of time and after I won that fight I just couldn't get enough of it I wanted to keep doing it and I wanted to keep setting goals for myself and so I did I kept competing and I lost more weight and I got down into uh, in amateur boxing what they call the heavyweight class which is in the 190 pound weight class and um, and that's really where I com continued my amateur career. I was able to compete in the Utah Golden Gloves uh, two times, represent the state of Utah and win that, um, and also regional and competed at a national level. And I did that in a pretty short period of time. But during all of that time, I found that I had much more of a passion of helping people um, using boxing. And so coaching was my passion. And so... Uh, fast forward a little bit more, uh, Damien, uh, the original coach, he, a wonderful guy, he had a full-time job. And so boxing was his passion to come and train people. So he ended up transferring to California. And so then we just kind of took over from there. I kind of stepped in as that coaching role. 
Um, I had already been coaching a 4 p.m. class and I had a pretty good following of people that were enjoying the type of coaching that I did. And so Rob and I came together, we put our heads together and we said, we've got something, let's do this. And my motto and mantra has always been, I'm, I'm, I'm not an aerobics instructor, I'm a boxing coach. I know how to teach boxing and I know how to teach boxing conditioning. And so that's really the history of Legends, how it started. It started from inside that gym, uh, creating a method of being able to take real boxing skill and conditioning and apply it to every single person in a class environment, not just on a one-on-one -on -one environment. So that helped me become a completely different person. Boxing changed everything about myself. So my coaching, when I go into coaching, when I go into a class, it's 100% designed around that. It's how can I help change someone's life today? Not five years from now, but right now in this hour. So if you walk in and you're having a bad day and you leave, and you're having a great time, then I did something to help change your life. And that's my mentality. That's how I coach. That's how I go about coaching. It just happens to be boxing that I'm teaching people. So they get to see the transformation. They get to see the confidence build. They get to see all of the crazy cool things that they never thought that they would be able to do inside of the walls of Legends Boxing. I can't tell you how excited I am to be able to talk to you guys about all of the amazing things that Rob and I have done and with our wonderful team of people that have helped us along the way to get where we are um, nationally. It's, it's crazy. We have over 5,000 members nationwide. And I can't tell you that in 2010, we literally started in the corner of a room and it has now uh, expanded to this. So it's an amazing. So that's kind of a little history story of legends, kind of where we came from um, throughout all of this journey that we've been on. Um, something that resonated with us as a team um, was very important to us was, was what do we, wh who are we as a company? What do we stand by? What are our core values? And if you've ever walked into a Legends Boxing Gym, you see them and that's one of the first things that you do see are our three core values that we established and that we live everything by. We make every decision as a company, every decision as a team, internal decisions as franchisees and coaches and members walk and talk our core values. They're not just buzzwords. They're not just trendy things to us. They are what we live. And that very first one, um, as we were sitting there thinking about our core values, we said, well, what do we have? What do we, what do we have? What's going on? What's in our environment? And, and it was this feeling of some place that you're a part of. It's a tribe. It's a people uh, that are working for all of the same exact things. And so you belong to something. You belong to something that you are working towards to help change your life and to help change the life of those around you. So you belong. That's our first core value is belong. You belong to a tribe. You belong to a, an amazing thing that can help set so many different pathways in your life that you weren't even aware of. Um, our next core value is real. And that one resonates with me quite a bit. Um, because it means so much more than just teaching real USA boxing, which is what we do. We do. We totally do. Every single person that comes into our gym, when I'm coaching them, I am looking at them as that their goal is one day to become the next light heavyweight champ of the world. Regardless if they want to or not, I want to teach them that stuff. I want to teach them the proper form, the proper technique. And I also want them to understand and know that when you do do that, when you're rotating all the way through, when you're using your entire body, when you are giving it the proper technique that the punch needs, you're getting a better workout. You are getting a real workout. You're getting a real education at the same time, but you're getting it from someone who is real. Okay. They're, they're, they're not fake. They're not, there's no flashcard in front of them telling them what they have to say. They weren't scripted into saying what they need to say. This is a real person that has a real job outside of this, that's a member coach that came in that loves legends and loves doing what it is that they do. And you feel that in class. So yeah, that, that is real to me, you know, and a quick story, as I talk about that, it reminds me, and there's so many, like I've so many over the years of stories, but one that I like to share, um, uh, is an individual who started with me back before we were ever legends. It was, it was XSI boxing. And I remember she came in and she said, Andrew, 
I don't ever want to get into a boxing ring. Uh, it's not my goal. I have done every kind of workout you can imagine, and I am struggling to lose this last 15 pounds. And I said, fine. I said, that's great. I said, welcome. Welcome, mind. Let's get it. Let's get those 15 pounds off. No problem. Let's have some fun doing it. Fast forward. Some things happened. We transferred into Legends Boxing. We moved locations. And she followed us over and she became bo be continued boxing with us. And shortly after that, she comes up to me and goes, well, I've lost that 20 pounds. No problem. Now, what do you think the chances of me being able to get into a ring and spar are? I said, absolutely. hundred percent. Let's do it. Let's get you ready. Let's start getting you prepared for it. And let's get you in the ring. Well, let's fast forward a little bit longer. And a couple years later, <laughs> I was in, uh, called by a local gentleman, local gym that was putting on a show called The Glitter Gloves. And it was an all female show. It was awesome. And I had three fighters that night that went in and this individual I'm talking about, she was one of them. Okay. So that was her very first time of not only just coming into a boxing gym and never wanting to do anything about that, but then seeing what can change and seeing how she changed and the confidence that developed in her over the years of going through all of the training that she did, she gets into a ring and not only did she win fight of the night, she won her fight for her very first time. So that was insane. It was awesome. Everybody there, it was so great. We had such a huge following and such a loyal pack of legends that came to support all three of our fighters that night. So if that doesn't speak to real and real boxing and then leading us into our very last core value, which is results, man, I, I don't know what story would because that is someone who started out never to becoming a fighter. Then she became one of my member coaches and longtime member coaches at the Lehigh location. And so the results word is really exactly what that means. But every single person that walks into our door has a different goal. They need a different result. Some people need to be in a place where they feel safe. Some people need to be in a place where they need to hit something and feel better. Some people need to be in a place where they're learning boxing. Some people want to lose 20 pounds. But whatever it is that you're looking for, you'll find it inside the walls of Legends Boxing and your coach is going to help you get there. And that's what results mean. What results are you looking for? And I promise you, the longer that you stick with this, you will achieve results you never, ever even thought that you wanted just by continuing to learn what it is that we teach inside these walls. So yeah, those core values resonate with me. They've helped me live the legend's core values inside and outside of the walls. Um, and it's, it's helped us to develop this huge tribe that we have now that goes national. So yeah, I'm really excited, guys. I'm really excited to be here. Uh, I can't wait for the next episodes, kind of plug you guys in on really kind of what to expect. You know, we've got EFN coming up real soon. And I know all of you legends that have been listening or are listening to this, you know what EFN is. And it's our executive fight night. It's coming up May 13th. So yeah, we've got a lot more episodes of this podcast coming. We're going to be interviewing fighters. We're going to be getting them both here inside the studio, face to face, talking crap to each other. It's going to be exciting. So you're not going to want to miss out on that stuff. Legends is always coming out with new, hot and exciting gear. So wait for that. The new gear drops. We're going to be talking about all that stuff. We're going to be bringing people in from USA Boxing. We're going to be talking to corporate people. We're going to be talking to franchisees, members, coaches. I mean, you name it. We're going to be getting the story out there. We're going to be able to let you guys know exactly what's going on all the time with Legends. So please subscribe. Click the button. You'll be able to find us no matter where it is that you listen to your podcasts. Just look for our Legends Boxing podcast. Subscribe it. Make sure you turn your notifications on so that you can see when the next episode's going to drop. I, I hope you guys can feel my excitement because I'm really excited. I'm excited to talk to you guys. I'm excited to have guests here. And we're coming to you from Legends Boxing. <laughs>